Hi everyone, James Mansfield here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, now I recently completed my very first wig workshop where I did the fundamentals of teasing, teasing 101, backcombing 101. And it got me thinking, you know, I haven't done one of these videos in so long where I break down my tools for what I use, you know, the tools of my trade. So I'm gonna empty out my purse for you folks. Metaphorically, I don't have a purse that I keep this in. So I'm gonna show you guys the tools I use for success. So you can create a shopping list for yourself if you want to follow along at home or start venturing into hairstyling, especially hairstyling focused around drag queens or show performance or burlesque, anything that requires being on a stage with big old hair, I'm your girl. Let's get into it. So the first thing I use is I find a good teasing comb or brush. Now you can use whatever. Again, it's all up to preference and what you prefer. Now I have here a few examples. I have a rat tail comb, a classic. Yes, this is the old faithful. The rat tail comb with a nice metal point. The only downside about this is I love these. You work in small sections with these. Like it doesn't pack in a lot of hair quickly. If you're willing to sit around and wait for a while to get your result, this is definitely an old faithful. It's what they use in the 60s. And the rat tails, my biggest problem with these is finding a reliable one that doesn't break off right away. I'm constantly like snapping these because, well, I can have a tendency to be heavy handed. Okay, teasing brushes. Now, this can vary on preference. Now, I've been using one like this, like a nice narrow one, classic. Yes, they sell these just about anywhere. Any beauty supply store should have these guys. But I also use this one, a spore net teasing brush. It's a little thicker, as you can see, like there's a lot of thickness there. And it's strong, like it's densely packed in. Teasing brushes have these thick bristles on them. It's almost like a brush brush, but like there's little teeny tiny plastic ones in between it. That's what catches the hair and teases it down. I like this one because it's a little thicker. So if I have to get the job done fast, I generally use this one mostly on like the back section of the hair where I really gotta wrap that hair down and get it done. All right, now brushes for brushing. Any kind of wire bristled brush will work. I use what's called a wig brush. You can find these just about anywhere. Now for the brush out, I like to use a wire bristle paddle brush like this. This one is a wig brush. It's specifically made for wigs. I like it with the metal bristles because the little plastic ones have a tendency to snag hair and pull hair out of the wig. So you end up with more problems than you do solutions. So these ones are good. Definitely invest in one of these guys. The only downside is the cheaper they get, this part in the middle has a tendency to rip right out. Like the glue on it sometimes is not strong or depending on how old the brush is, it'll rip right out. <laughs> I found myself like putting string on it to like make it work back in the day when I first started doing wigs. It was a dire time, but definitely no little plastic bristles, okay? Make sure it is nice, clean wires like that, metal. All right, now for other styling tools that are very handy, a pick, yes, these are a lifesaver, honestly. If you wanna pull volume up or create height in a wig or pack hair down, a pick is a good friend to have, all right? Be sure and get you a nice quality pick. They sell them just about anywhere. Anywhere hair supplies are sold, you can find them. Get into the pick. Okay, now smooth out. I usually partner this with the pick, it is a smoothing brush. Now generally you want something that has very soft bristles. And what I've been using recently is like a brush for use for beards. This is a beard brush. <laughs> I found this in the men's section at Target, okay? Like for men's grooming, it's a beard brush. It's got the nice soft bristles on it and I use it for smoothing out the hair because you don't want anything too intrusive going over your hard work. Now to finish this off, I'm gonna go through sprays. Now, if you watch my videos, you kind of have an idea of what I use, but in case you don't, I'll refresh you. I only use generally like three products. I use a wet hairspray Tresemme. Number four, extra hold. Now a wet hairspray is exactly what it sounds like. It's a hairspray that's not as thick as like a freezing spray. And I use it generally while styling just to like keep things in place. It's not the end all be all. You don't use this only, okay? It works in tandem with a lot of other hairsprays. I use this as I'm styling. Speaking of grip, now, baby, got to be glue is a drag queen's old faithful, all right? We go together, okay? You cannot separate us. This is gonna be intertwined with drag forever. Got to be glue, old faithful, this is a freezing spray. So this is what you would use, like if you really want like teasing to stay in, 
or if you want to do a finishing touch over a wig. Like this is a finishing coat hairspray. And of course I use Aileen Stiff and Quick. This is my very last thing I use on a wig when I'm setting it. You basically spray the wig with it if you're doing a bouffant or something. I love this stuff because I've traveled with wigs, like this one especially. I just went to Canada in it. Spray it with Aileen's, let it rest for an hour in between. It takes an hour to set in. And baby, this has been packed with my clothes. <laughs> like I've had dresses piled on top of this wig and she springs back into shape. All right, I love this stuff. And yes, it does wash off with water, which I also love. And last but not least, if you have a problem with hair and you want to take it all out, this one I actually discovered at Target. It's called Daymert. It is a hair detangler. I love it. Protect your investment. <laughs> I love this stuff. It's like, it's not that expensive. They sell it at Target. Love it for detangling wigs. It's great. I mean, you still have to like do all the necessary steps, but it also works in tandem to like make it a little easier. Like nothing's an instant fix with wigs, okay? You're always gonna end up working, okay? Don't ever think anything's gonna come to you easily. But yes, these are the tools of the trade that I have been using at the moment. As of here today, these are what are in my purse, what I go to when I have to style wigs. So hopefully this video was informative and hopefully you enjoyed it. Now I will tag as many as YouTube allows me to tag, but I do have an Amazon affiliate link that is down below. So if you wanna buy these products, be sure and shop on Amazon through me. And if you're not interested in hairstyling whatsoever, well, at least I looked really pretty in it. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you on your hair journey. Until next time, bye. <laughs> Click here and watch Farrah Fawcett's Iconic Blondes. Or see me style a wig on my live stream. Come on, click it. You know you want to. Also, be sure and subscribe to It's Just James, okay? As well as this channel. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll tease your hair with a rake. So you better click it. It's going for a